Hi all, welcome back to another Tech Connect. We're here on location in Anaheim, California, here for the CSUN 2023 conference. This is an international conference for people with disabilities. Luke and I are here the entire week checking out new assistive technology that we can present to you in future videos. Come join us. All right, it's day one of CSUN 2023. We're ready to get going. We had our breakfast, bellies are full. We're ready to head down to our first session. Come join us as we hit the floor for day one. CSUN 2023, we're stopping at a booth I've not been to before. This is a Werewolf Gear, and we're looking at a new product, the ATC, or All-Terrain Cane. Dave, uh, thanks for joining us, Barry as well. Can you guys tell us a little bit about this cane? Uh, I'd love to, thanks for having us on. Okay, the All-Terrain Cane is a super strong, but super lightweight mobility cane designed for hiking. And then everything else you wanna do outside. Okay. Off-road in the wilderness, 16 inch grip with a flip lock that allows us to adjust this cane from 51 to 61 inches. Very cool. All right. Titanium alloy, super strong, super lightweight, designed to do this. All right, this is what I need to keep me safe on the trails of Arizona. Yeah. Balance, support, braking, but not just on the trails. Yeah. Beaches, parks, playgrounds, snowy environments. Wherever we need support, this is gonna get us there safely. I love it. When I first saw it, I'll be honest, my first instinct, I was trying to figure out what the upside to having it adjustable, but by looking at me, you can tell I'm not a real outdoors kind of guy. So it took me a moment, but then I realized that when you're going all terrain, when you're going in different uh, trails and things, obviously there are times where you want to adjust the length of your cane because you obviously need, some points you need it longer going down or uh, you know down downgrade or upgrade. So. I, I, I thought it was so clever uh, having the way, you know, having that clip like that so that you can adjust the height. It's really cool. I, I have a graphite cane with me t here too, and I mentioned that the weight, even though you've got a larger roller ball on here, the weight is, well, you told us it's only about three ounce difference between a graphite, a traditional graphite cane and uh, your titanium ATC. Yeah, and that's, we, we need the strength. Um, I love titanium. Uh, it's, it's a little bit heavier than aluminum, but because it's so strong, we're able to use a thinner wall, Sure. Uh, cut down on the materials, and, and the strength on this is just off the charts. That's so cool. And what is the retail price on the ATC? The MSRP is 120 US. Okay, and where can we get it? Where, if someone's interested, where can they get it from? Okay. <laughs> okay, we can, uh, ATC can be found at awarewolfgear.com. Okay. That's A-W-A-R-E-W-O-L-F-G-E-A-R.com. And you can throw in a uh, forward slash ATC if you want, or uh, just go to awarewolfgear.com and take you through the site. Awesome. Dave and Barry, we really appreciate it. Thanks for joining us. Hope you guys have a great rest of your conference. Thank you so much, Corey. Appreciate Thank you, Vision time, Forward. Corey. Thank you, Vision Thank you. Forward. On the floor here at CSUN 2023. I've stopped at the Humanware booth. I'm talking to Joel. We're getting some information on the new Victor Reader stream. Thanks for joining us, Joel. Thanks, Corey. I'm Joel Zimba with Humanware. I'm a product specialist. And this is the new Victor stream, stream 3.0. It was just released last month. What's new and different with the stream? So it's USB-C connected. There's a USB-C connector instead of the old uh, micro USB. Perfect. That was one of the main failure points of the stream, as you might know. Yeah, sure. So yeah, so we, we replaced that. It's much more reliable. Uh, let's see. It has uh, Wi-Fi 5.0 as well as 2.4, so connect all your Wi-Fi 5 networks. 2.4 is slowly going away. Sure, sure. There's a cover over the SD card slot to protect it, and uh, it's it's unibodied, so it doesn't have the uh, the removable battery. Removable battery. Yeah, I got hands on with it, and I, although it feels very similar to the Stream 2, it 
it still has a very unique feel. I love the feel of it. It is a little bit smaller. Button layout, you said, is the same, but uh, it looks like it's using more kind of rubber buttons versus the kind of hard plastic yeah, buttons a, of the two point. It's uh, a different technology, and my understanding is they're sealed better, so if you spill your coffee into it, chances are <laughs> it's not going to be toasty. You're going to be okay. And same thing with the battery. Now that it can be sealed in there, it's going to be much more reliable. Okay. So that's one of the things I'm most excited about is that this device is just going to last better than the Stream 2. And it has all the same features that the Victor Reader Stream 2 did uh, from vo voice notes and NLS and, and um, uh, Bookshare, all the kind of same same features you had before. All of the above. Uh, currently, the Audible is not working. It will at some point. We, we start, we're talking to Amazon about making that happen. I heard that there was a little bit of an issue, and it sounds like that is kind of resolved now, or, or yeah. about to be resolved. Yeah. That's we're great. So that's, Good. that's coming eventually. And we've got some other things in the pipeline, so we'll, we'll grow and, and change as, as the product evolves. And it is currently out now, it and people can purchase, available. right? It's the only one you can get. Okay, and what's the retail price? I believe it is five forty-nine or five fifty. All right. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Well, thanks, Joel. I appreciate it. Thanks you for bet. joining us today, and good luck uh, with the rest of the conference. Yeah. Thanks for coming by. All right, back on the floor here. I am stopped at the Oco booth. I'm talking with Vincent about a really cool iOS app here. Why don't you, Vincent, rather than me saying what yeah. it's about, why don't you tell us? Tell us. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Thank you for stopping by. So we developed uh, the Oco application. It's free to download on iOS. And what it does, it will give back the information about the pedestrian traffic light that is ahead of you. Okay. So it will give back information if it's like a walk signal, a don't walk signal, or a countdown signal. And for each kind of uh, uh, status of the traffic light, we designed a specific feedback. It's mm -hmm. haptic audio or a visual overlay uh, on the application. It's very easy to use. It's free to download. So yeah, go ahead, guys. That's awesome. So you gave me a, a quick little demo and showed me kind of the tactile and I could hear the audio. So when it saw a walk sign, it kind of mimicked uh, what the, the audio pedestrian uh, would hear. Yeah. And then uh, don't walk and then the countdown, they were all significantly different. So you yeah. could tell what it was. Basically, uh, I would just, as somebody who's blind, I would stand on the corner, hold my phone up so that it can see across to that uh, to that traffic sign, uh, traffic signal, and then we'd get the feedback that we yeah, need. Exactly. It's awesome. It's that easy to use. Perfect. Love it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Back on the floor here at CSUN 2023, we stopped at the Patriot booth. We're talking with Mr. Palmer here when we wanted to learn a little bit about the Voice EZ, if you wouldn't mind telling us a little bit. Sure, absolutely. The Patriot Voice EZ is a standalone appliance. Think your toaster, your blender. It does a job for you and it does it really well. We hope you'll agree. <laughs> yeah. It's someone earlier said it's got an 80s design. Well, let me tell you, that design is timeless. Sure. You'll notice three robust jumbo knobs. And the knobs are very easy to turn. So the first knob, speed, when you turn it clockwise, Intuitively, it gets faster. Okay. Turn it counterclockwise, slower. Makes sense. Volume, louder, clockwise, softer, counterclockwise. And in the middle, to standard, you know, pause and play. Video magnifier, 16 dish, 31. Now let's, let's test the speed. Okay. So you take whatever you want to read, and you just put it right on the platform. He even prompts you. It'll automatically Oh, read. wonderful. That was fast. So what we wanted was something that was being asked for, quite frankly, ease of use. If Albert Einstein was in a room with us, he'd have to agree that's pure genius. Sure. You know, ease of use and, quite, fr quite frankly, accuracy and the speed at which it can recognize. I know it's hard to hear on the floor here, but it, uh, the, it the, took the picture and was almost instantaneous. And from what I was just listening to, the accuracy was great, too. There was, uh, I didn't hear any errors. Yeah, absolutely. So we are scheduled to release on May 1st, and um, it's going to go nationwide and then to some certain countries after that. Okay. And what's the retail price on uh, when it releases in on so May? So it's uh, suggested retail pricing is $2,595. Perfect. Awesome. Appreciate your time. Thanks so much. Absolutely. Thank you. And we absolutely could not pass up the Hymns booth. Stopped here uh, and stopped to talk with Earl because we were really interested in the new Sense Player uh, that you've recently released. So hoping maybe you could tell us just to tell us yeah, a little bit about it. Absolutely. In fact, um, uh, recently 
released on the international market and just here at CSUN are releasing it for the first time in the US. Okay. Um, so the sense player is really a, a book player. Uh, it, we've got support for Bookshare, some support for NLS Bard is coming. It's got a podcast player. Um, it's got a really good recorder. The, 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 the hardware is phenomenal with stereo microphones, stereo speakers, and of course we've got the 3.5 millimeter jack for stereo both out and in to the, to the sense player for digital quality recording as well. Um, to give you an idea of the physical layout, uh, it is very thin, uh, probably thin as probably about the, as thick as some some of the iPhones out there, maybe yeah. a little thicker. On the uh, right side, we've got the power button, which works very much like that on the phone or our BrailleSense products. You press and release to put it in sleep mode or to wake it up, press and hold to shut it all the way down. Below that, we've got a lock button in case you're walking around and you don't want to interrupt your book and you, maybe you're doing exercises or something like that. On the left edge, we've got the volume up, volume down um, buttons. Well, they're the up and down buttons, and the button above that defines what parameter that we're voice changing. Volume. So we've got voice volume, voice rate, voice, volume. Rate, voice pitch, pitch main volume. Main volume. Below those buttons, we've got a, a place for an SD micro card. Okay. Uh, and above that, we've got a record button. So press and hold the record button to start a new recording. Uh, and, and press it again, well, press the, the select button on the front of the, to stop, pause it, and then resume recording. Sure. On the front, we've got a 12 key uh, keypad, your standard telephone touch keypad. Uh, arrow keys towards the top half with a select button in the middle, a round button in the middle. And if I press and hold that round button, it puts me into a help mode. It's kind of like a key describer mode. Oh, great, yeah. Let me to learn how to use it. Um, on the left side of the up arrow key, we've got a, the, that always gets us into the main menu, just like on our BrailleSense products. Okay. The one to the right of the up arrow always gets us, us into the, uh, the, the, the menu for the application we're in at the moment. Okay. Of which there are several. Um, Media player, Daisy player, document reader. I'm just scrolling down reader. through these choices, Web and when video. I land on one I want to use, Podcast. I simply press the, uh, the uh, select key, or I can press any of the keys so that correspond with those applications on the keypad from the To go hand. directly in, go okay. Right into it. Now, the, another cool feature of this, we've got four buttons across the top. We've got a mode button, a, a Wi-Fi button, Bluetooth, and smart connect button. So the mode button allows us to assign our most frequently used or favorite applications. And okay. We can go in there. And uh, all these buttons have kind of a double press uh, double action to them. So there's a deep press, a sh uh, sh more shallow press, and you can do a long press. So they all have three different uh, button presses that you can do. If I press and release, kind of do a shallow press of smart connect. the smart connect button, now I am connecting. connecting to a device, which is actually my, my iPhone SE Successfully connected. Okay. that I've got phone. here. So it says, phone is connected. now I can actually, Wednesday, March 5th, oh, look at that. So now I'm actually navigating the, uh, isn't that a great sounding speaker on the Sense Player? <laughs> yeah, yeah so that's my Bose Revolve, actually, <laughs> pumping it through. But when you are just using the speakers on the Sense Player, you, you also have the microphones audio as well. So your phone could be charging on the dock across the room sure you're reading a book the phone the phone rings you press your smart connect button and you answer the phone uh, and then you go back to reading when you sure hand the okay phone. so it's got lots and lots of use cases not the least of which might be taking a selfie of yourself yeah. with your phone yeah sure or maybe um, using it as an OCR device on a stand somewhere so you can you know slide the document under and and take a picture. So Hims has been, you know, if I'm not mistaken, or you'll have to correct me if I'm wrong, but Hims has been in the book player uh, oh my gosh, space. Yes. I mean, from the original book sense back in the day, the XT. Yeah. Now, uh, and, and I was going to try to impress you, and now, I, and now I can't remember. But the, what was the <laughs> player? Impressed. What was the player after the book sense? Uh, it was the Blaze. Blaze. Thank the, you. The Blaze EZ and ET. You got it. That's right. Okay. Yep. So this this player seems like it's a, an evolution, but. What I love about the, the Sense Player is not only having that physical 
sometimes it's so nice to have a media player with physical buttons, right? Yeah. You want to just relax. You're not wanting to deal with a touch screen. But I love what you've, what one thing that you've seemed to have added to this to make it different from other media players is that, that, that uh, Smart Connect you just did there. So turning yeah. it, it, to me it sounds like now this device is also a, a physical remote for your, your iPhone or your touch well, screen device. Your iPhone, your Braille Sense, your Android phone, and also, speaking of the battery, it's got crazy battery life and they are user replaceable. Okay, wonderful. That's awesome. Well, we appreciate your time here, Earl. Uh, congratulations on a new product launch. Hope Thank you guys you. do great. Uh, enjoy the rest of your conference. You as well. Thank you. Thank you. To be continued.